What you're looking at in this picture is the most common hams ashtray known. There were often stacks found of them and up here in the land of sky blue waters of Minnesota, you're lucky if you can get five bucks for one of these. But would you have ever imagined how many different hams ashtrays were made by the brewery and its various distributors over the many decades that hams was in business? If you want to know a lot about hams ashtrays, stay tuned. We've only just begun. Ham's Beer and their distributors throughout the nation, and especially Minnesota, like to use ashtrays because they were inexpensive to hand out to their customers, and in the day, everybody smoked. So you see some of these examples here? It's amazing to find them because they were used without all sorts of cigarette burns and stains in them and such, and you can see they came in a variety of metals, glasses, clear milk glass, that's that white triangular ashtray and other metal ones here there's incredible variety of hams ashtrays there we go okay most of these ashtrays of course obviously they they were put out in order to uh have the, the distributor's name front and center that, that they got the beer from and obviously they made it made them as attractive as possible with the bear so that they actually did get used and the, the different variations, uh, different different people will collect, for instance, the little salt shakers, they'll collect the same label, but there'll be a different distributor. I don't, if it, I just collect the different variations. If, if it's the same ashtray, but a different distributor, I don't collect that. Otherwise, I'd have three times as many ashtrays as I have now. But it's one of my favorite uh, areas of collectability, uh, just because of the, the fact that they got used and... And, and to find them in nice shape that aren't all burned up and and uh, of course back back in the day everybody smoked so I mean it was it was commonplace to have these sitting on every table on the bar tops and uh, what better way to advertise your your beer than something that somebody's going to use. Steve, let's go detail and run down a few of your favorite ham ashtrays. Sure. As mentioned, uh, of course back back in the day everybody smoked and this would have been a little caddy that would have sat on the table down at your local bar. And it's loaded with six hams ashtrays. And I would assume each table had, had one of these sitting there to, to be used. And uh, to find one with, you know, a nice shape with all the ashtrays in it is, is pretty cool. So that's one of my favorite little displays. And then of course, th there's hundreds of different variations the colors and everything, uh, the colors really attracted me on this one with the hams. And it was high-end distributed company that issued this ashtray. This is the only, the only one of these I've ever seen. Um, so again, this is very cool. Another, another gimmick that they would use, they, this one actually has the picture of the bar. Clinton, Minnesota, uh, Lost Recreation. This is actually the picture of Lost Recreation and, of course, incorporates the ham sign. What a great idea, the advertising. Another one that I like is this one with a, it has a little phone uh, dial on it to dial up for hams. Tell you what, let's put a solid white background so our oh, there you go. There you go. they can really see it now. And I'm guessing Tony Graffanillo was probably mobbed up <laughs> <laughs> and he was in Duluth. So um, that, that's, that's one of my cool, I, I just think that's so neat with that little telephone dial. Well, very cool. Thanks so much, Steve, for detailing all the different ashtrays from Ham's Beer. We hope you enjoyed it. If you have any more questions, drop by iBuyOldBeer.com. Stephen Barry.